G'day legends. Have a look at this. There is... Bang. Bitcoin hits 79,400 uh, roughly. That is... Just happened this afternoon in over here in Aussie land. Uh, and it's dragging everything else up with it, as you can see. ETH up 5%. Uh, XRP is up nearly 6%. Nearly made it back to 60 cents. Doge. It's just everything by the looks of it. Apart from Ray and Popcat. So a couple of memes. I think Ray's a meme. Um, Casper. I was going to buy some. I did buy some this just before this happened, but I got in at about right here, I think. So I was hoping for a better price, but um, I was a bit slow because my computer wasn't working properly. Um, Aid is up 33%, making some nice numbers. We've got Swee's up 35% today. Which is good. Look at that. Three bucks already. Very nice. Um, we'll have a look. Go to the one to two hundreds. Wow, this uh, this is hamster combat. This is a game I actually have. I play it. Um, not just. I was just testing it to see whether you can make money with this game. Um, and I, I got a fair, I got some tokens out of it. Um, it's like a, an airdrop game. Um, just well, wow, as I see, it's up 66%. That's good, I guess. I've got some of those tokens, so I, I'll have to have, go in and have a look what they're worth. Um, that's the biggest one there. So everything stays bullish. Um, this is. Probably because uh, Bitcoin didn't have a huge spike with the U.S. Uh, general, uh, not general, the U.S. election. Um, it's built gradually. We're going up, you know, three to five percent per day, and then we've had a couple of little pullbacks, which is healthy, and then it keeps going up slowly. It didn't just shoot up twenty percent or something like that, which would have been more of an unhealthy candle. Um, so, like fantastic the way we're moving up um we now have nothing in front of us this year has been full of uh things that could that we had to wait for that would get in our way um you know the start of january we looked at we had the um sec approval of the etfs and then we had the uh the halving day in april i think and now we had the uh, election that we had to wait for. All these three things were building up pressure. And it's like, um, you know, back, back when I was younger, there used to be, there used to be uh, the kettles. Kettles didn't just used to turn off. They used to whistle. And this thing is like a kettle that's it's just finally boiling. And, and that whistling is just going and it's not going to stop, I don't think. Um, there will be pullbacks. The pullbacks will be where... I will be looking to buy. Um, I did buy. I went into my account and I looked at my, my coins that I like, and I bought some of the ones that were red, and some of the ones that were still within my price zone that I like to buy them. Um, and and I bought some of them, but I've still got money on the side uh, that I had done uh, from so selling the XRP earlier this month or last month, um, and. So I'm just using that up on some slightly riskier coins. Um, oh, lost my camera. Uh, yep. Yeah, so I haven't got. I didn't get on today or yesterday before this. Um, so Elon Musk being part of you know, the the uh, U.S. election uh, campaign, as it were, and and being they're going to have this new. Uh, Doge Committee, which is the Department of uh, Government Economy or something. I can't remember. Sorry. But anyway, it's to do with uh, Donald Trump's basically hiring him to do a job or something over there um, to help bring down the spending of the US government. I didn't know how this would 
react to his companies and all that but i tell you what it was it's it's reacted pretty well because they've got in tesla was up like 25 percent the other day i think it was 25 i'm doing that off the top of my mind um feel free to fact check me but it was like 25 percent in a day or something like that um and and doge was up like 19 percent or 15 percent crazy numbers uh this was a couple of days old so that news but it seems that because these guys are in and i guess that you know i guess you could say he you know anything he needs now is probably going to get let through um that'd be what i would be thinking you know it's big money um to be doing what he's doing and stepping into the ring in so all of everything he's touching could turn to gold so just a, a clue in there um it might be too late to jump on some things so just be careful i'm not telling you buy uh, sell or hold anything but anything elon musk is talking about anything donald trump is talking about um anything uh what is it uh vance is talking about any uh, any of the other big ones over there anything they talk about that's to do with crypto or stocks could definitely um shoot up so you just uh, keep an eye on that um, but just remember everything that shoots up will eventually come back down bitcoin has is just looked at so positively right now um, i will do a more in-depth uh, video into the positive effects it's having and and people are now talking about like super cycles and that um, i first heard about a super cycle on uh, the investing bros and it was not something i'd actually thought about it's a lengthening of the bitcoin four-year cycle um that i thought maybe the cycle would run short which it still could instead of going to the four-year mark where it normally does i thought maybe institutions would make it pop early so that they can you know get all the the gains instead of you and me but what if the super cycle theory was is what if at the four year mark um you know we have a nice bull run up to there and we all sell and then blackrock grayscale vanguard all those guys then buy all your bitcoin um and then and go on for another six months another year or something like that so that was the thought on on a super cycle um so just something to think about uh when you're planning with your planning always take in new information so this is something i hadn't thought about i thought about a shortened cycle i thought about the normal cycle but i hadn't really thought about a lengthening cycle because it's never happened so whenever you get new information make sure you actually take it in um and just add it to the add it to the things that could happen so you've got a plan for everything anyway um so bitcoin made its new all-time high again there's going to be lots of videos with this happening this year i'd say we're probably because Trump um, has won the U.S. election. It's seen as. I'm, I'm sorry, this this app just closes the camera after like a minute and a half or something. It's really annoying, but it's the only way I can show you other screens on my phone. Uh, if anyone knows of a better app for doing that, that would be great. Um, anyway, so basically, there's there's nothing in the way. We're moving up now. Um, it's not yet altcoin season, even though our altcoins are taking off, they're up, some of them are up 30%. When real altcoin season happens, um, it'll be when Bitcoin dominance starts to drop. And we're up at about 60% at the moment. I haven't checked it today, but until it drops back below probably 57, 56% and, and it's noticeably going down, that's when you can tell that people are taking their profits from Bitcoin and moving them down into altcoins below it. Um, and that's when you know that the altcoin season has really started. All right, have a great evening. Do something nice for someone else. Crypto Bogan out.